EA ski niggas. Why you niggas wanna bite the hand that fed you? Like I don't understand this shit. Like the West Coast can't eat. Like you niggas wanna sleep on us like we bitches. Still our shit and wanna pass, nigga. Look, niggas rap hard. Jaws get to tighten up. So yeah, so my goal with this fifth of Steve Tobin album is just to make sure that it's sonically at the next level. And um just pushing those boundaries, uh, getting in the studio, you know, working on analog tape, you know, just something that I did when I first got in the game. It was just, you know, it was analog, it wasn't uh, digital. And um, what I started noticing is that the difference between the sounds is, is real different for me. I, I felt a little bit of more of the warmth and the, and the depth of analog tape. Even from the stuff that I go back and listen to now, it just feels different. And, um, and it's not like it's a big deal far as because I, I still like you know some of the digital stuff but I feel some of the things I'm working on right now I wanted to just have more depth to it and um, I want to you know bring back that feeling so you know when you're doing music and you're hungry and you're working on an album you know I want to be inspired you know and to be inspired sometimes you got to go back and go back to your foundation and go back to the stuff that you felt that worked but when you first got in the game and being that I was doing tape back then and just the way it felt, you know, I wanted to bring that back to the Fifth Whiskey Tobin and being that I've been in the game a little bit, I wanted people to know my hunger. And for me to be hungry, I gotta do stuff that made me hungry, made me feel a certain way. So I go back and I try to bring that, that nostalgia and that feeling back. And um, that's where I'm at with this album, you know, it's not a joke. I got some of the best cats in the game that's relevant, you know what I mean? So people are not gonna look at me and just be like, oh, you know, EA Ski is just trying to drop a record. No, it's serious, you know, it's serious. When you got Tech 9 want to participate, you know, you got Ice Cube that's participating, you got Freeway, you got some of the big names in the game, you know, um, MC8 just dropped something for me, Exhibit is working on some stuff, you know, I got a lot of, you know, cats that's on it. And not saying that all of these records will be on the album, but just knowing that they're contributing to the legacy of what I'm doing to drop this dope album that I'm working on in the production. I just feel like the sonicness gotta be there. It's just gotta be there. I want people to understand there's a difference between EA Ski and all the other records that's out there. You know, and that's what I'm striving for. And anybody that feel like they um, want to be on the next level, they're they gonna have to work just as hard because this album, I'm trying to work on a masterpiece. Yeah, so you know, basically, I'm just in the studio right now, you know, working on analog tape, going back to that two inch reel, you know, that, that little feeling that uh, I got when I first got in the game, you know, that just gave me that little extra edge and punch. Um, you know, digital was dope, and um, you know, I'm going in between on albums, you know, I don't have digital stuff, but I wanted to try this analog because I felt like that's what just motivated me when I first got in the game, and I just feel like, you know, music is just all the same right now. It's just, uh, it's a lot of digital records out there that sound good, but um, I'm noticing that it don't have that edge that um, that a lot of the older records have. And um, I feel like being a pioneer in the game and, and being in the game and, and done so many records that felt so good with the analog, I just want to take it back and, um, and get that feeling again. And I think that's what a lot of you know um, artists should try to do, or you know do the research, Google about you know analog tape, because a lot of people don't even know what you know two inch reel tape and 24 tracks is, 48 tracks. They just know about digital and Pro Tools and Logic and you know, just the digital era, you know. Um, but it definitely makes a difference to me because when the records that I grew up on from you know, whether it was Run DMC, Public Enemy, NWA and stuff, all of that stuff was done on two inch. And you can just tell the difference now. You put those records against records now and they still stand at the, you know, the times, you know. So when you think about it from that perspective, you know, analog is a little bit more expensive. But at the same time, I feel like I believe in my project. And I believe that, you know, I want to give this new era a chance to really hear music to its fullest potential. And even though we know that some won't, they'll just listen on their iPods and probably go over it. I think real music buyers and real consumers that really listen to music for what it's worth, they'll be like, hey, yeah, he's, he's not playing. And that's the whole thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not in it for the validation of uh, people that ain't technically inclined. I'm in it for the ones that really, really listen to music and really, you know, it's just like the difference between, you know, 
a good quality DVD and a bootleg DVD. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can tell the difference. You can settle for a bootleg because it's free. But, uh, you know, a real DVD, it just looks good. And, and I'm into looks, visuals, I'm into sound. So that's what I'm going for with this particular record. And a couple of records that I'm working on is get that now all filled. So uh, stay tuned.